Hi, welcome to Aussie Target. This video we're going to quickly walk through the multiple targets tool. So when you open that window, it automatically shows you the waypoint that you're navigating to. It adds the little widget here, the little uh, triangle around it. If I want to add waypoints to that, simply select the plus button. It says select a waypoint, so add in the next one that you want. And again, and you can do this for up to four waypoints. Um, it gives you the information, the ETE, the distance to go, and the bearing required for each. You can sort those by the various columns as you need to, or waypoint name, uh, whichever, whichever information is going to be the most useful to you at the time. You can see that you've got these uh, lines and uh, the triangles on each of the ones, so you can see which ones you're looking at. If we go into the settings down here, we can actually change that display so it only shows you the triangles or it only shows you the lines or it shows you nothing and we can also change the size of these these triangles here so if we want to make them bigger we can make them bigger make them smaller it just depends on what zoom level you're working at on your map and how you want them to look um, we can change the thickness of the lines as needed and we can also change the color if needed. The refresh rate here is in seconds basically this is updating as the GPS information updates so in Oz Explorer that's about every second um, but the refresh rate here is for redrawing these lines so five seconds is generally enough to to give you this visual cue. The only thing that's going to happen is that you'll at high speed you'll fly away from the beginning of these lines but, um, but they'll update every five seconds, which is generally enough. You can change that to anything you want. If you put it on one second, then it's going to update every time the GPS information updates. But you can see, uh, you know, even on this desktop, the, the mouse pointer is sitting there having a bit of a, a freak out as it recalculates everything, redraws all those lines every second. So no need to put it under that much stress. Even 10 second update is going to be enough because the actual information you need here is uh, is updating in, in real time. Uh, final things, if, well, close the settings key there. If you want to get rid of everything, um, you can just trash it all. Um, and closing the window does the same thing. So that information uh, for multiple targets, again, if I add in a couple more, um, is only going to show up while this window is open so again if you close that window you lose all that information but it is sitting there waiting for you when you open it up again so basically if you're not using it you can just close it down open it up get the information back that's multiple targets uh, sorry final thing I should say if you want to get rid of one select the line select minus it gets it off the screen and uh, next time it refreshes, it disappears. Uh, if you want to force a refresh, so say if I delete that, I can force a refresh there, and uh, delete that, force a refresh, and and then it's gone. So the the refresh button here is if you've got a um, a nice long delay on this, like 10, 15 seconds or something like that, you want to update it, you can force that update nice and quickly so add another one in there and if I dial my speed up here to something ridiculous you'll see that I can actually fly away from those lines while it's waiting for an update once that uh, 15 seconds or whatever I put it on comes around those lines will jump back but I can manually force that to uh, to keep updating so as I fly away from it I want to force an update, refresh, and I get it there. Okay, so that is your multiple waypoint tool. And I uh, hope you enjoy it.